welcome back to a new video on um, Mama Pain with Taya Everything. And I hope everyone's doing good. It's early morning for me. I've been up since 7, but it's now 9. Um, didn't have time to get in the shower and fix all up for the video. And y'all are used to hearing me with the uplifting voice. This is my morning voice. I'm just now getting in my caffeine, zero Pepsi, um, sometimes it's tea, and yeah, I'm trying to get myself motivated and all that good stuff, but hope everyone's had a good weekend so far. Um, so today's video, um, I decided to do something else. Um, I know I've said something about the exciting video that I want to go ahead and tell you guys about. Um, I'm not going to do that one just yet. Probably going to be after this video for sure. Because I'm about like extremely excited about it even though I'm not showing it. Um, I've had like a really bad emotional night. And yesterday was really tough on me. So, I can't get my eyes to stop watering. It's, yeah, and then an emotional morning. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least, it's um, hitting me a little hard now that it's getting closer to Christmas. Um, so, anyway, so I went uh, to see and visit my mother's grave last week. Um, and it was just the saddest thing because her grave looked so sad. Like, there was nothing on it but dead dry flowers and a pile of dirt. And my mama was always, uh, sh like, she's a fashionista with shoes, purse, clothes, everything, her house. And I said, there's no way I'm going to let her grave look like that. I figured she had some kind of flowers on there. Nothing. That shows how much a lot of who says loves her so much cares, okay? I'm just putting it like that. Um, anyways, um, I went out yesterday and I was looking for this concrete seat. You know, it's, it's super heavy. Um, the prices had gone up on them since the last time I looked, and um, um, and then I wanted to get her like a Virgin Mary, um. So it's 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 expensive. I didn't realize how expensive this stuff was. Like I'm thinking fifty bucks for the seat because that's what it used to cost, um, and the statue of the Virgin Mary wasn't even. I think three feet tall and they wanted like 60 something dollars and I'm like wow I'm going to get those things I don't care it's just not going to be right now because of Christmas and you know just having to buy for everyone um so what I'm what I've done is I went out and you know I said well I'm going to get her other stuff and other things to, you know, she loved Christmas, so I bought some stuff that, you know, would spiffy up her grave and make it look, you know, give it that Christmas spirit. Um, I got, so I got a flagpole, like a little, you know, the little flag thing that, that most people put on their loved one's graves. And a beautiful flag with, um, uh, Christmas flowers on it, and it's, says Merry Christmas. You guys will see that when I get to the grave and I go. Um, I will show. It's not going to be a wow factor, but it's, it's you know, the thought that counts and the love that I'm going to put into it for now until whenever that, you know, headstone gets put on there. That headstone is what I'm waiting on because then once that gets put on there, then it's, you know, I'll know exactly how to keep keep it, you know, and, and make it look, because she, you know, we talked about that, and she told me the things that she wanted on there, and, uh, she always told me, 
don't leave me in the dark. And so far she's been left in the dark because I had no idea that no one has gone over there to put nothing on it. So, with that being said, this is stuff I got her. For right now. Okay, so, I got this tree. It's pre-lit, and I gotta take out the, the lights because, of course, there's no power out there. So, I'm gonna wrap some wire, um, some wire lights that run off battery, batteries, and, um, let me see. These... Yeah, they run off batteries, and they're multicolored because she likes multicolored Christmas lights. Um, there's 20 of them, and that's perfect for this little tree right here that I got at Walmart. And then, man, these are so hard to find. So I got her that and some beautiful flowers. She liked her plastic flowers. She, she really hated for us to spend money on flowers for a birthday or any holiday because... They turn around and die. That's what she always said. So, but now plants and flowers that she can plant on her house. That was another story. But who puts these plastic things on here? They're like the hardest thing to get off of here. And it's so annoying because, like, you see that? See that? The plastic thing that you got at that red sticker thing? It's all glued. And it's going to take me a minute to have, you know, to take those off. Am I scaring y'all? I'm getting awful close to the camera. So, alright y'all, so, alright, so I'm going to do the lights for her tree, but I also bought another one of these, because I got two. Hello, Pookie. Good morning. Um, I also bought another little tree, but this tree, this is pretty cool though. This is um, a little tiny tree that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar a quarter. And this is pretty cool. These are perfect for your office, for your little small areas, um, a baby's room, um, you know, daycare or an office, you know, your office at work or what have you or wherever you work and you have a little space. You can put these tiny little trees and then you get these little decorations to go with it for a dollar. Isn't that pretty cool? Um, but of course, I got more lights because my this is for my pets in the back, my pet cemetery. And this, you know, they love Christmas, and I miss my nuggets and my ripper and and everything. Uh, they love Christmas. They love this time of year when they see me put the tree up. They knew what was happening. They knew there were going to be some Christmas presents under the tree. And let me show you guys what the outcome of this little tree is. Look at this. Is that cool or what? Can you guys see that? It's a little tree, but it's it's like a little Charlie Brown tree, but it's really super cute. I love it. And then once you put the lights on it and some little decorations and then kind of pin it down with some pins on the ground so it don't blow over, that's perfect. Okay, so then, um, what I was talking about, these lights, these lights right here, they're amazing lights. Why? Um, because these, I believe these are the ones, and I've bought these before. These are the lights that um, you turn them on, they come on at a certain time. Like say, I turn these on at 5 o'clock tonight, okay? Then they go off um, the next day, and then right at 5 o'clock the next day, it go they come back on so they run and they run for at least a month or more off batteries these are perfect for for those little trees okay so I'm gonna get started and remove all these plastic stickers and stuff and then um, I'll start assembling things meanwhile um, my second channel I will be doing a video very soon I haven't forgot about my subscribers on that channel uh exploring the afterlife i will be doing a video soon i haven't forgot you and you guys need to jump on and go subscribe to that channel because i got a lot i've been thinking i'm doing on that channel so don't forget to go on there and jump on and subscribe okay, so i've assembled the flowers 
I don't know. I've never done these before, so what do you guys think? Are they okay? Can you comment below and let me know what you think? Do they look okay? Do they look nice? Do they look cheap? I don't know. But I've never done this before, but this, these are the colors she loved. And um, these she would put on my dad's grave, who is buried in white wool. Um, at his family cemetery. But look, it's got little pine cones on there. I think they're pretty, but I'm not sure I did a good job because I've never done that before. Yeah, me, the crafty lady, Mama Payne, always doing something crafty, but this is something I've never done. But I mean, they'll do, right? It's better than nothing. All right, for my Charlie Brown tree, as y'all can see, I got decorations. I even bought the little star, which is going to sit right there, and hopefully it stays on. The only thing is this one doesn't have anywhere for me to put the hooks on, but I will try to make sure it's grounded once I get it down there. I'm going to go ahead and put the lights on it. Okay. Oh, I'm just already frustrated. <sighs> Seems like the devil is trying to hold me down, okay? Because now I realize these are not the ones that come on automatic. It has to be the little wire ones. This is not the wire ones, but I thought these did the same thing. I could be mistaken, but I read the instructions, and it doesn't say anything about them coming on on their own at set time. So, no deal on these lights, but I do have some that do come on automatic wrapped around my wreath on my door. They're not multicolored, and they'll have to do. So, I'm going to take those down off my wreath, put them on here. Um... Hopefully I can find batteries because then that's going to be something else to upset me. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be positive this morning and it seems like everything is holding me down just like yesterday. It, it's just one thing after another. But I'm trying to stay positive. I'm not going to let this ruin my day. Definitely frustrated. Because now it looks like I may have to destroy my wreath to get those lights. They're so rattled them in there. But as y'all can see, I had to move the bow. This is a beautiful wreath I did last year. And here's the ribbon bow. Um, I had to remove that. And now, as y'all can see, this is the copper wire. This is the one that has like an automatic turn on. So now I've got to take it out. And... See how long that's going to take me, but I just have to take in some air, breathe in and breathe out, and um, try to stay positive. Yes, I did it. Okay, got those off, and I don't know if you guys could see it, it's really a big thing of wire. Can you guys see that? Okay. But of course, I need batteries, so hopefully I can find batteries. And it didn't destroy the reef that bad. I'll just have to redo it. And I still have a wire, or a string of light wire, uh, hanging over my headboard that I totally forgot about. And there's a hundred lights on that, and it'll make that look, or pop even better. So maybe it was just meant to be. Even though my mama didn't like the clear lights, it's going to look good, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> um, maybe next year I'll get her multicolor. Because right now, lights are so hard to find. Everybody's buying up everything Christmas. Yay! Found the batteries, guys. I was getting worried there for a minute. I didn't think I was going to find them. Oh, now it's rolling. Okay, well, you guys 
are seeing me thinking I had the camera on pause. I did not. But anyway, it's going to take three double A's, okay? Yeah, three double A's. Alright, so let me get them in there. And voila, guys. Look. Look, look. And let there be lights. Let there be lights. Yay! Alright, so now I'll put them around the tree. Okay, guys. It's done. I got the lights on it. Now I'm just going to put the decorations on it and make it look alive and more Christmassy. So, I didn't want to bore you guys with me sitting here trying to put all these little lights on this tree. But, um, hey, it's working. Working, working. Now. And like, okay, so you see the button? You can set up, um, let's see, hold on. Okay, they usually have like, you can make them go off and on and do certain things. I don't know if you have to leave them on for a certain amount of time or maybe these are not the ones, but I'm just happy they're lights and I'm happy I found batteries and I can put them on this little tiny Charlie Brown tree. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the decorations and making sure they're going to stay on so they don't blow away when there's a windy storm or what have you because we have those. We have plenty of those in North Carolina. Okay, so what do you guys think? Isn't it the cutest little Charlie Brown tree? I think it's adorable. And that star makes it even better. So now all I got to do is wire that star on the top so <clears throat> it doesn't fly off. And it's set. Um, I thought I brought the pins in here so I could show you guys what or how I was going to pin this down. I don't know what I did with them, but I think I left them in the kitchen. Hold on. Alright guys. So, this is what I'm going to try. Can you guys see that? This is what I'm going to try to keep this tree down with. So, what I'm going to do is um, let's see if I can Get closer maybe because maybe you guys want an idea of what to put on your loved one's grave you know and this wire on the ground it's going to go in in all the way down and it's going to hook that right there down and I got three of them because there's three and I hope and pray it stays um, I'm gonna make sure it stays somehow or the other but yeah you get these for 50 cents at Walmart um, now this little tree I did not get at the Dollar Tree. I've had this one for a very long time because there's a big difference in this tree and the Charlie Brown tree over there. They're all Charlie Brown trees, but I've had this one for a little longer than six years and I always put this one in my room, but now it's going to my mom. And, um, so what do you guys think about this little tree? I think it came out adorable and oh my goodness and then with these flowers I mean of course there will be the Christmas spirit there with her and of course the little uh, flag stand with the Merry Christmas and the beautiful Christmas flowers um, so once I get out there <clears throat> excuse me I will show you guys what that looks like when it all comes together. I just now have to get myself together, clean up this mess. That wreath will have to wait till later on this evening for me to put it back together. And then I'm going to put my little dogs, or my dogs and my cats, a little tree up to put in their cemetery in the backyard. And I'll show you guys a picture of that. And, um, yeah. I will definitely show you guys how that all comes together and how it looks.